Our experiment, just the same as CMS and ATLAS, is trying to look for new physics beyond the standard model. The standard model has a very complete description of the fundamental building blocks of nature and many of the forces, uh, but we know it is incomplete. It doesn't explain many things. Uh, one of the things it does not explain is why the universe is made of matter and not antimatter. And our experiment is uh, trying to uh, find answers to that. The, the, the B in the name stands for beauty. And this is not because uh, the people who work on the experiment are beautiful, though Rolf is very uh, handsome, uh, but rather we, we are making studies of the beauty quarks. Uh, <coughs> these quarks are produced in great, great numbers at the LHC, but uh, by studying them very precisely, we can look for uh, differences between matter and antimatter. Uh, what we are trying to do is making very, very precise measurements uh, of this behaviour and we compare them with the predictions of theory which comes from this standard model. And we hope to see uh, discrepancies, differences between uh, uh, the predictions and our measurements which would be a clue to some of these fundamental questions. Atlas, uh, they uh, seen uh, the case of, uh, of big quarks, beauty quarks, and why LHCB is so special? All experiments see them, but uh, we, we see them, uh, our experiment is uh, built and designed uh, to try and uh, make the maximum, to, to collect the most number of these uh, decays and to, and to make the most precise studies. So my colleague Rolf was uh, uh, essentially built the detector and uh, he, he can explain that our detector has a very different shape to that of uh, CMS and ATLAS. It's a bit exaggerating that I was building the detector, but I tried to coordinate the installation and the, the building of the detector. So if you look at, uh, when you talk about ATLAS and CMS, how the, they are built and here the interaction points where they are smashing the protons um, together is at the center of the detector. While LACB, you will immediately see it's a different shape of the detector. We are smashing the, so many called smashing the protons on one end, where we have detectors very close at around this point. At the moment, uh, eight millimeter, later in the future will come much closer again. And then we have in one direction this uh, detector. This is, as we are only interested in these, not only, but we are interested in these B events, which are at this uh, lower angle and going this direction. For us, this is enough to have um, the capability to see these particles in this angle. So it's a forward detector in one direction. And the advantage going on on one side is that we have more space for a longer detector. So the detector is then in different slides built up, up to the end. So starting with the tracking in the beginning, then we have magnets. We have as well um, ring imaging Cherenkov counters. Um, then we have uh, calorimeters, and this is a long way. So you see a difference when you look at the design of the detector, which yeah, is important built for this. Yeah, our, our detector is spread out lengthways, whereas if you look at CMS, that is more of a, 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 a cylinder. Uh, and that's because the, the beauty quarks, when they are produced, they are thrown forward. And our detector is uh, best designed to, 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 to capture these beauty quarks. Big ones like an onion, and then the big LHCB is a half onion, just. Yeah. And uh, what is um, the thing about beauty and beauty quarks? We have uh, like six quarks mm -hmm. from the up and down to the top quark and beauty quark. Why to study B quark, not a strange or charmed one? That's an excellent question. Uh, the, the, the beauty quark has many uh, very interesting and, and perfect characteristics for this study. Firstly, it, uh, it uh, can decay into uh, hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of, of different what we call final states. So, so the, the beauty quark, it, it, it forms a, a, a hadron, uh, so, so a, a particle which is uh, stable for a short period of time but, but, uh, uh, on, uh, but sufficient that it travels a little way in our detector. Then it can decay into other particles uh, and then, uh, the number of different ways it decays, uh, each separate decay gives you possibilities to make uh, particular studies. Uh, uh, the, the, the charm quark and the strange quark and the top quark uh, pre preferentially only decay in a, uh, a handful of ways, whereas uh, with, with the beauty quark it can decay in hundreds, thousands of ways. And each way uh, enables you to make a, a separate uh, study of uh, these effects which we are, are looking for. Is that okay? Because uh, 
yeah, and in particular, uh, the way the beauty quark decays, it, it, is, uh, uh, it is expected to, to, to show this effect, this difference between matter and antimatter, uh, uh, in ways which is uh, larger than we expect in uh, other systems. This, this is more or less an accident, uh, but it is just how it is. So, so this, uh, what we, we actually call it CP violation. It is the difference between matter and antimatter. And uh, in, in uh, the case of particles involving uh, beauty quarks, uh, the CP violating effects, these differences are, are larger and easier to study. So we have many Russian colleagues which are working our collaboration, which we appreciate a lot. But so far, this was um, mainly where uh, institutes, Russian institutes were participating and brought in their um, experience and knowledge. Now, as well, it's more and more interested the universities as well in, in Russia, which are interested to join. And uh, we have built up a relation with, uh, especially with MISES, already more than one year ago. They have already participated in uh, some of our analysis on uh, material of detectors, which, uh, which we found very, very interesting for us, and this might uh, help for the future. Um, I'm pretty sure it will help for the future. And that's why we as well have contact with Mises. And very soon, if things go well, which I'm pushing and which I'm pushing we all for this, there will be an associate member to um, LACB and really join the uh, collaboration and move forward with us for the upgrade and as well for the future of the upgrades. Yeah, MISIS have great engineering expertise because uh, the, the rest of us, we are physicists, we, we know a little bit about materials and, and how to build detectors and put it together, but uh, really what happens deep inside these materials uh, in the extreme environment of the LHC when there is this uh, high radiation uh, environment, uh, our silicon detectors, uh, how these change with time when the uh, they are exposed to the continual uh, attack of the LHC beams. Uh, this is uh, where the great expertise of the specialists in MISIS, which is really a, a world-leading uh, world le leading institute here. Uh, uh, yeah. And this is not only a part that can do very good analysis of what we have, but further, um, I'm, I'm very convinced that they will design and build new technologies which can stand these high radiations much better than what we have and help in this, in this sense to our collaboration. And what was said, yes, uh, we don't have so many engineering universities uh, participating in ACB. And this is something which is really missing. You have a, number, a lot of number of, of universities who are doing analysis, which is the ultimate goal of, of this. But to have this analysis, you need a detector which is working correctly. And therefore, you need the engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, material science to move forward with these uh, detectors to get a better detector for the higher radiation and faster data taking. And this is where we are grateful that uh, MISIS is interesting to join. We, we are not here representatives of SHIP, uh, but we know that MISIS, uh, I, I know of two ways in which they, they, they contribute. Uh, firstly, is uh, their expertise in magnets. Uh, so so uh, uh, part of SHIP will rely on uh, 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 a muon shield, uh, special magnets, uh, uh, which are very big things, uh, and the engineering here is very, very good. Uh, also, on uh, one part of ship will be a, it's called a, a emulsion detector, where it uh, should be able to look for uh, neutrinos interacting in a detector, which is a bit like an old-fashioned photographic uh, film, right? So before we had uh, digital cameras and your mobile phones, we would take a photograph and then you would take it to the chemist who would uh, develop it, uh, so you take the film out of your camera. Uh, it's some experiments and uh, SHIP will use this technology, they, they, they will actually have a, uh, uh, a, a large volume which is made of a, uh, an emulsion which is very much like the film which used to exist in your camera. Uh, and, and this is where MISIS have expertise. Mm -hmm.